Hello, welcome to my channel Supercar Sunday. This is my BMW E3325i project. This week on the project we'll be looking at getting the passenger side rear wheel arching primer. But first we'll be taking a look at the filler work. So as you can see last week we were doing the fabrication work on that rear quarter. Lots of welding and grinding. If you'd like to see that video, please go onto my channel and it comes under Barn Fine BMW E30. If you'd like to follow this project, the full project, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell. So now we've got that out of the way, we'll move on to the filler work. So on this rear quarter panel, I'll start by telling you that last year I cut out the old knackered scabby rotten shit arch in that side and I ordered a replacement panel, replacement arch to go in. Now when I received the panel I realised that it wasn't the correct panel for this particular model. However I managed to make the panel fit this car, a bit of tweaking and I managed to weld it in. So I got the, got the panel in um, and then I basically just filled it and put some primer over it for the winter and the car got parked up and I got on with other, other jobs, other jobs took priority. So this year I've now got the car back in the garage, as you can see we started the project again, head gasket done, all the rest of it in previous videos, you better see, go into the channel and you'll see that in the previous videos. So that work's been done back to this quarter panel I decided because it had quite a lot of filler work so I decided what I'd do is I'd just get some paint stripper and strip it back to bare metal. So I've got some final systems paint stripper, put it on the quarter, scraped, scraped off all the old paint, the old filler, then DA'd it back, got, on that, you know, got the panel nice, fresh canvas ready there and I just decided to skim the full quarter again. So there is a few, a couple of minutes here of me putting the filler in. Um, I know to some people it'll be boring, but to others it'll be interesting. So I thought anyway, I would leave it in the time of me putting the filler in to some people might be interested in how I put it in. I'm just using my eight man action cam, my head cam at the moment while I do this, obviously, so I can use both my hands. While we're talking tech toys, I've just actually bought a new DJI Air 2S drone. That's, I've done a little video of that, a bit of an unbox, and a quick look at that before I took it out for a flight. So that's on my channel. If you go on the channel and have a look through, you'll find that little video you might be interested in. So I'm going to speed things up a bit here and shortly you'll see a little trick I use of how to show the low spots so we know which parts need more filler, filler in than other parts. So we're just going to knock the top off the first coat here and then we'll put a bit more filler in. So we'll jump forwards. So we're not the top of that one there, we've put another coat in 
We've then extended and filled towards the back end of the quarter panel there and around that rear tail light unit. So we've got all the filler in there. We'll rub that down and nicely shape that. Try the rear tail light to make sure it fits. Then we'll jump forward a bit more. So we'll knock this down, we're getting quite far on with this now. So we'll just knock these bits off here and then I'll, I'll show you how to put a guide coat on it. So a guide coat, you just spray a black aerosol over it and then you knock the top off and you'll be able to see where all your low spots are. A little trick I learned in the body shop years, many years ago when I was doing my apprenticeship. So we've got the guide coat on there, we'll just knock the top down. And you're about to start to see where them low spots are. So I'll mark, I'll mark the low spots out for you in a second. So as you can see, we've got some low spots there. So I'm just going to get a pen and I'll mark those low spots out. So you're always using your hands to feel where things are higher and lower. So this is where I'm marking out these low spots so you can see. So they're the areas that they're going to want more filler in when you put your next skim on. So jump ahead again and put some more filler in. We'll soon knock the top off this, not long now, and we'll be looking at priming the quarter, masking it up and priming it. I just want to show a bit of putting bit a bit of filler work, putting the filler in more of the process because it is a lengthy process it's good for people to see so there I found an old plastering trowel and it's a good straight edge so the flatter, you, the flatter and better you can get the filler in the easier it will be to block it down flat so it's a nice flat surface with a plastering trowel so I got that in quite well with that it's you know a lot longer than the spatula I was using so anything a decent anything flat nice flat straight edge is ideal for putting filler in especially on big panels like this and then rub it down with a nice big long flat block afterwards so that didn't take much doing really, that top piece. So we'll jump forwards from there next and we'll get onto the priming. So the vehicle's masked off. I should have masked off my toolbox really, but never mind. Um, there wasn't much overspray around to be honest, it didn't really get anything on it. So the primer I'm using is a two pack Roberlo, two pack primer and I'm spraying it with a 1.8 nozzle 1.8 tip on the gun get it on nice and thick so I put three coats of this on the quarter panel I think I only showed two anyway nice even coats and you can even dry it with the gun in between so when you get one coat on you can like air dry it a bit with the gun just to get it off a bit quicker before you put the next coat on so as you can see there, the distance the gun is from the panel generally 6 to 8 inches. Nice even coats.
So after a few days of me leaving this primer to go off, I'll be flattening it down with some 240 on a long block. And the idea of this is, if there's any low spots still in the filler, which I'm expecting there probably will be, the amount of filler that's gone in the panel, um, these low spots will actually get sanded out within the primer. And then what I'll do is I'll mask the I'll mask the panel off and I'll reprime it again. And because it's had so much work, this particular panel, I'll probably actually do the process three times. So I'll actually prime it, sand it, prime it, sand it, prime it, and then it'll get a final um, sand and wet flat ready for paint. So I'm going to leave things here this week. Feel free to check out my channel, subscribe and hit the bell to follow this project. Thanks for watching.